On Thursday, 20th January 2022, Ghanaians woke up to an unfortunate incident of an explosion here at Apiati in the Pristia Huni Valley District of the Western Region, which led to the loss of life of about 17 residents, rendering several people homeless. A year down the line, we are here to speak to some of the affected residents to find out how they've been coping. one week now, we busy the the Zimbabwe <laughs> Ontedabriya so so I'll be speaking to the assembly member for Bepo electoral area in the person of Thomas Yao Inyam to find out activities lined up for the one year commemoration. On Friday, uh, the date will be 20th January. That is where the uh, disaster actually occurred, the date on which the disaster occurred. And so we would hold two different programs. The first one will be a, a lecture on safety. And apart from the lecture, which will start at 9, at 12 midday, we will all gather in the middle of the road where the explosion occurred or happened. And at that particular moment, we would have 16 reefs lined up uh, along the road. And uh, we would have a memorial prayer. Nananom will give us the traditional prayer. Then our Christ, Christian brothers will also take us through the Christian prayers. Our Muslim brothers will also... Uh, have the attend to give us the Muslim prayers as well, the Islamic prayers. And apart from that, we would also move from the explosion site to the cemetery where each family member would hold a reef. Then we will all move to the cemetery. Then we will lay the reefs on, uh, let's say, at the cemetery. Then from there, Saturday, we will gather here at the relief camp where our people would uh, go through indoor games. They will go through indoor games like Ludo, Oware, and the others, so that they would also have uh, some joy in their faces, some smiles on their faces. On Sunday, we will go through a Thanksgiving service right here at the relief camp, where we would pray and thank God for the gift of life of our people, then also to uh, seek eternal life for our brothers and sisters who passed on as a result of the disaster.